Let's see if we can survive this. Hello, welcome to Resident Evil 3, the demo. And there he is, Mr. Trashbag Piano Teeth Thumasis uh, Extraordinaire. I like that they're not wasting any time. They're like, hey, love it or hate it, boom, nemesis, enjoy. But just look at him. Like I, I went into this telling myself that I'm, I'm gonna lay back on the criticism. I'm gonna just take it all in. I'm gonna absorb it. There's pro, I'm probably gonna like it more than I dislike it. But I, I will never like that nemesis. And there he is, front and center. It's not a good start. Let's get into it. <laughs> it's fine. I, I'll, I'll adjust to it. It'll be okay. Final game may differ from this demo. You cannot say reload. Well, yeah, I mean, come on. This new plague is spreading at a terrifying rate, embedding itself in the corpses already shambling the city streets. Jill has encountered immense difficulties in her attempt to escape the city, but in her most desperate moment, she was rescued by an unknown man named Carlos. Hello? Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. You eyeballing me, motherfucker? Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. Something it's Valentino. Valentino. You, Jill. How does he know I but not know who yes. she is? That's a little weird. Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? This city is completely cut off. I like her attitude towards them. Most of the hundred thousand civilians She's feisty. will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered. This game is so losses. pretty. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, His hair is a little out of control. <laughs> yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. Hey, look, people that aren't zombies. Them. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Damn, Jill. Relax. First things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. Hey, Carlos. You got enough pockets there? You uh, you need some more? You want a fanny pack? Hmm. Some cargo pants? Any anything? A backpack? I'm gonna take your gun. I'm a stranger. We just met, and you're just gonna set your gun there? Okay. Can I take it? No. Okay. Ooh, first aid sprays. Drugs! Give me the drugs! Wow, rude. I like the the tension that that Jill has with the the U B M C Q double O T's. That's pretty cool because it makes sense, obviously, given you know Jill and her past with Umbrella. Ammo crafting guide. I'm assuming it's the same as it was in RE2. On the battlefield, if you run out of ammo, your gun's about as useful as a wet fart. Wow. Want to stay alive out there? Then get these basic formulas into your skull. Gunpowder, gunpowder, blah, 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 okay. So, yeah, so Magnum shotgun handgun. Once you're stocked up, get out there and join the party. Let's give those dead motherfuckers something to eat. Just make sure you don't become dessert. Who wrote that? Who the fuck wrote that? Hello? Hello, survivors? Which, what the fuck is this? What is this? Where's the fourth wall? It's gone. It's it's gone. I kind of like that though. That's cool. I mean, it's a little unnecessary because I'm well aware of Resident Evil 3. You don't need to advertise it to me because I'm playing it right now. But, you know, it's cute. 
It's another one? Wow. There's no walls. Fourth wall, gone. All the other walls, gone too. Wait. Uh, am I supposed to go this way? Oop. Tabloid front page. The Cannibal Murders, a complete digest. What? That just seems too lighthearted and inappropriate. In the gray of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled like a vagrant was attacked by was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man's steak? What? We here at News Comet have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patients Spencer Memoro has been providing free treatment for since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and came back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. Nothing about the coronavirus in there? Okay, that's the only coronavirus joke we're going to make, I promise. Alright, we're going to go back because I think we missed some stuff. So, I noticed that Jill moves quicker, I think, than Claire and Leon did in Resident Evil 2. Maybe it's my imagination, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, I would think she moves quicker. Which makes sense, because in the original remake, or in the original remake, in the original Resident Evil 3, Jill moved quicker than, the, than uh, Leon and Claire in the original Resident Evil 2. So, you would think that would, like, it'd be the same thing in the remakes. So... And that seems to be the case. Okay, and that's locked. What do the buttons do? What what are the what are the buttons? So all the buttons seem to be the same. There's reload. There's the, oh, ooh. Oh, okay. So they put the dodge on a on a button instead of being like a time sensitive situation. I like that. I never liked the fact that in uh, Resident Evil Revelations you had to like push towards the enemies to dodge, and then in the original Resident Evil Three you had to like aim at the the attacker at the right moment to trigger the dodge. I like the fact that you can just dodge whenever you want to. That's pretty cool. Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clear the tracks. You might get in the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. I like her voice. I think it fits pretty good. And the redesign is cool. It makes it makes sense. You know, it works. I like the original outfit. You know, despite it not making any fucking sense at all, but, you know, I miss it. But, it's fine. The new one's cool. It makes sense. Some items can be combined with other items, either to free up a slot or to create something new. Use the plus combine command to do just that. Okay. So it's the same as the other game, as Resident Evil 2 Remake. Gotcha. Easy peasy. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. How do I get to my knife? Oh, there it is. Booyah! Well, what the hell was that little hoppy thing? The fuck was that? What the fuck was that? It did like a little knife hop, stab, stabby, jump backy thing. It was weird. Okay. Uh, let's free up some space. What's this? Nothing. Herb Field Manual. There's no place in the UBCS for pipsqueaks who crawl back to base every single time they get scratched up. You want somebody to kiss you boo boo? Go someplace else. Who wrote these? Here in the big leagues, we mix our own meds, so get these recipes memorized. Uh, 
Two green herbs. Green, but so, yeah, it's the regular shit. Wait, what was that? Green herb. Okay, yeah, yeah. Can't make these yourself. Grab them when you see them. That should do it. Now let's get this done and then go grab a beer. I thought that said beef. <laughs> grab your first aid spray and get yourself some beef, everybody. We don't need no stinking herbs. I'm going to regret that watch. God, it's so dark. It's so, no, don't go out there. No, I'm not ready. More survivors. We've got to get that train moving. Oops, that's not a gun. Hwa! Hwa! And hwa! Yeah, bitch. Get fucked. Hey, wow, whoa. Yeah, look at that. There's like a little hoppy thing. What? She just like does a little skip every once in a while. I don't know why that happens. Okay, good. I can go back. Is there anything else over here? Nope. Okay. All right, then. Wait, I just noticed my knife doesn't have like a, a uh, like a bar, like a health bar or whatever. The map screen is useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. It can also show you any points of interest and in items you have found but haven't picked up. I know that. Oops, no, no, no. So did I miss anything? Apparently not. But yeah, the the knife used to have like a like a health meter and it would wear down, but I guess you get infinite knife now. I wonder if that's like because of the difficulty setting or if you just don't have disposable knives anymore which also makes me wonder if you can use them as a defensive item as you could in uh, remake 2 mm -mm -mm. oh so we're at that part of the game there's the the good old gas station over there Wait, was that a door? Nope. Hello? Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Boom. Wow, I'm doing terrible. Doing terrible. You okay, buddy? Look, there's that little hop. What is causing that? I don't understand. See, what? Is it a timing thing? Weird. I do not understand that. It's like a dodge, but not. And it just happens, like, whenever it wants to. I don't get it. Oh, it's a quick step. It's it's not a dodge. Excuse me. So wait, so does that mean there's a dodge and a quick step? Interesting. Uh, oh my god, there's so many ways to go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay, well. Uh. Is it just me, or does it look like we can shoot that? Nope. Okie doke. Weird. So I wonder what the deal... Like, do I need a key or a lockpick or something for that? Nothing there. Can we go in here? Hello? Oh, nope. Don't get up. I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. <laughs> Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> that's cool. I like, I like their dynamic. See, Carlos is still kind of like the same kind of guy, but he's not as like goofball. 
as he was before, like he's cooler. Oh. I like Jill's attitude. Wow, look at that zombie climbing up the fence. Jesus. He's a nimble little boy. Alright, it's time for some barrel action. Just like the good old days. Jesus Christ. Ooh, Jesus. Fuck. Don't get up. What is the little hoppy thing? Oh! Damn it. Oh wow, I'm almost out of ammo. I should probably stop killing everything. That's not how these games work. Oh, I can't go into Jim's crabs. Oh shit. I didn't think that would be open. What the hell is this? Oh, that must be like another explosive trap kind of thingamabob. Let's find out. Cool. Um, shit. Whoa! He's still stunned. Holy shit. Zing. We're gonna go in here first. We're gonna get some donuts. Oh, there's my flashlight. Yeah, that must be like the lock pick or something. I remember you from Resident Evil 2. So are they just going to use those bolt cutters in every single Resident Evil game going forward? <laughs> Ever since 7, they're always there. Never forget. Is this where it came from? Uh, nope. That's a lot of zombies. Uh, not anymore, though. Oh, wow. There's a lot of places to go. That's cool, though. Pretty open. Hey, fuck you, buddy. Okay, so I went there, came from there. Let's head this way. The hell is that? Oh, gunpowder. There we go. Still got plenty of space to work with. Is that locked? Tell me it's locked. When you need to use an item to unlock a door or solve a puzzle, select the item and then the that thing. Okay. So do I want to go there or over there? Uh, 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 let's go this way. Wow! Terrible shot. Fuck. Please be locked. Please be locked. God damn it! No, 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 no.
Oh my god, all the doors are opened. What? You put that whole thing in your pocket? Damn, Jill. If if you can fit all that, ooh. If you can fit all that in one pocket, like what the fuck can a Carlos hold? A like a car? Put a whole fucking building in all those pockets. Ooh, a hand grenade. Ooh, shotgun. Shit. Okay, um... Well, we gotta find a way to come back for that. Violence getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits and when it hits a breaking point. Locking it up in the gun rack. That should keep it safe from any would-be looters while I go out and try to find some more some more shells. Fresh sh shells is what I was going to say, which makes no sense. I don't know why I added a word. If things go south, cut the chain and bust out the sucker. I pray we all make it out of here alive. Alright, well we will be back for that shotgun. This must be the subway company's offices. God, it's so dark. It's spooky. Uh, in the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations. Once power has been restored, please use the control panel to confirm the station at which the train will stop, as well as which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur and operations will not resume. Is there a puzzle afoot? Oh, I gotta turn on the power. Okay. Um, good, we hit a dead end of sorts. Mm. Holy shit, it just keeps going. Oh, wait, there's a dead end, right? Ooh, barrel, barrel, barrel! Mm. I really do like how open it is. I hope that continues to be a theme throughout the, the whole game. Wow, one extra bullet? Are you fucking serious? Hey, hey, hey. Damn it. Wow. Ooh, shit. Well, now I can get the shotgun, I guess. Fuck! Jesus Christ, I'm doing terrible. I need to learn how to aim. Okay, you're dead. Alright, let's go get the shotgun. Or wait. Mmm... No, I'm probably going to need that slot for something. Ah! Hey, fuck you, pal. Mm, kind of want to use that grenade just to get it out of my inventory. Don't get caught off guard. Get the help you need from Umbrella. Hey, you want to eat some Tide Pods, children? Don't do that. Ah, fuck! Mm. Aqua! Aqua! Look, they did it! We did it, everybody! Full circle! We made it into a Resident Evil game. Oh, is that a code? 918. See, they they watched Duel and they were like, "Hey man, th this guy's onto something. We'll we'll throw that Aqua in here. It'll be great." It'll be great. Okay. I want to get the shotgun, damn it. 
Well, I'm really surprised how many doors are opening. In most uh, horror, oh god damn it! In most horror games, you know, there's always some random reason for why a door's locked. Oh shit! It's like it's locked from the other side, or whatever. What's going on here? Hey, fuck you! Come out of there! Oh, here we go, here we go. Break open. No? Interesting, okay. Oh, it's probably waiting for me to grab the ammo. Um, fuck. Okay. Where was that item box? I think it was in here. Uh, yeah, I think it was over here, right? There you are. So you can go in there, and you can go in there. I shouldn't need that. Well, yeah, I shouldn't need that. I should be okay. Especially because I'm getting the shotgun. Is there anything out here I missed? Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus, I'm not ready! Oh, God. Oh, please, mister. What did he do to him? The fuck is that? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there! Okay, you know what? Fuck you. Oh, wow, I'm dead? Three hits? Okay, I guess they're not fucking around then. Well. Standard weaponry is of no use against this creature. Just keep running. You can't fight him? That's dumb. Mm, I don't like that. Wait, so it gave me a checkpoint? Ooh, it did. Oh, I know why that triggered. It felt like it was just random, but it's because I got the, the fire hose now, so I can progress the, the story or whatever. Okay, with that in mind, let's go get the shotgun. <laughs> Not that I can fucking fight him, apparently, but still. That's unfortunate. I was hoping you'd be able to still fight him and maybe he would like drop some items or something like he did in the original. Um, let's go this way. Hello. Why don't you come over to this red barrel? It'll be fun, I promise. It's not a trap. I swear. I'm an honest person. Oh, Jesus Christ! Where the fuck did you come from? Fucker? I keep wanting to press R1 to reload. I don't know why. I must have been playing something where that was the reload button. God damn it, I did it again. I did it while I was saying that sentence. The fuck is wrong with me? Okay. Let's see what's in this shiny box over here. Ooh. Wow, and now I can't get the shotgun again. Wait, 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 wait. Are you fucking shitting me? I'm sure I'll find another zombie. It's gonna work out, I know it. I believe. This game looks fucking incredible. Okay, I want my shotgun. No more fucking around. Wow, really? Where were you a second ago, you dickhead? Oh, that's cool. I like that it goes on your back. Okay, what, uh, what was over here? 
Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that... No, oh, get the fuck out of here. God, my aim is terrible. Okay, we don't need to kill him. Um... Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I got everything in there, I think. Okay, yeah, we can go back now. Oh, yeah, 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 there was ammo up here. The question is, will I be able to pick it up? Nope! Two bullets. Fuck you! Okay, now, is that gonna break open? Maybe? No? I wanna know what the hell's in there. Rape? Something inappropriate is happening in there. Okay, it's fine. Apparently we're not gonna find out in the demo. Now let's go get raped and murdered by Nemesis. I really don't like that you can't fight him. I guess I probably should have expected that just knowing like Mr. X. Ooh! The fuck was that? Did he spit at me? Oh god, it's so dark. Is he on my ass? Nope. Oh, what did I say? 318? 3... Oh god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, um... Um, I don't have time for you! Fuck! I tried to dodge. It didn't work! How's my health? Not great. Oh! Go out the door, go! God! Whoa, what the hell just happened? Oh my god. Oh, wait. I just came out of that door. Okay, we need to get the fuck out of here. No time for analysis. Oh, wow. I thought I escaped him, but apparently not. Oh, what the fuck? Where the fuck did you come from, you dick? Bye. Oh, God. I want to explore up here, but I'm afraid. Now that he's fucking running around... Maybe exploration's not a good idea. Oh god, what was that? Oh, where the fuck did he come from? No, 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 no! Oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh god. Hit the thing. Go, 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 go! Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, oh, wow, and I put all my herbs away. Oh, wow. Brilliant. Okay, we gotta get the fuck out of here. There's no time. It's a good thing I have massive pockets for that hose. Jesus. Oh, that's it. Well... Oh, there's 20 of those dolls. Hmm. It's good. It plays really well. Nemesis is the only problem that I have. I mean, that's the one problem that I figured that I was going to have, so I'm not, like, shocked. But, of course, I don't like the way that he looks. I, I don't like the fact that he's just, like, a thing to force you to hurry up and get the fuck out of there it's like you just you can't fight him you gotta run you know i missed the dynamic that you know you could choose to either fight him or run away and if you fought him you'd get rewarded like that was a really cool piece of what resident Evil 3 used to be and that's gone it's just the nemesis thing and nemesis is a big part of this game and it bothers me but that's all the negativity that i'm gonna say everything else was really cool the game looks phenomenal obviously i really like 
the changes that they made to Jill and Carlos and Mikhail, like they gave them all a lot more personality, which I really like. I like the uh, the dynamic that they have, like Jill being anti Umbrella and and Carlos and Mikhail working for them, and they're like they have those kind of attitudes. Well, Jill has the attitude towards them and they're trying to help out and stuff like that. I mean, you got a little bit of that in the original, but you're seeing a lot more of it here and that it really kind of seeps out a little bit more in the performance and stuff like that. And the way that they rewrote the dialogue. I do really like that. I hope that continues throughout the remainder of the game and just kind of be like continues to be a focal point in the game. I like Carlos. He seems pretty cool. I like Jill in this. Um, I like the the environment's incredible. It's super detailed. There's a lot of paths to go through and a lot of explorability and stuff like that. I, I really like, I think they did a really good job with that. Another thing that I hope carries forward throughout the rest of the game is just like all these branching paths and stuff like that, where it's kind of, kind of like they did it in the, the original Resident Evil 3, where it was really confined, but... You had a lot of branching paths and alleyways and, and stuff like that. It looks like they took that and just ran with it and did more of that. And I really like that. I like that you're not running into a lot of doors that are locked and, and just a lot of barricades. You're just coming up with more pathways and things that loop around and stuff like that. And you can probably use that to, to run away from ne Nemesis and whatnot. So, yeah, it's really promising. I'm excited. I'm hyped for it. I still don't like Nemesis, but um, I'm excited. I'm hyped. Let's see if we get a trailer or something at the end of this demo. No? Maybe? Maybe I need a better score or rating or whatever? Okay, there we go. So many. In here. Brad. Hey. You all right. right to stretch. That's cool. I like that. Stop and do what? I got your back. Go. Go. Glock sticky. You better hunt. Sorry. Oh shit, Marvin. What? Look out. Let's do this. Okay, that's really cool. I love that they put Marvin in there. And they put uh, Kendo in there. That's really cool. I hope that they actually show what happens to those two characters. Like before you see them with Leon and Claire. That would be really cool. And I hope they do. They also showed one of the other uh, Umbrella soldiers. Which they should obviously because they were in the original. But I hope that they do more with like the survivors and the other Umbrella soldiers. And just like you get to see more more character and interaction and storylines through like other NPCs. That would be really cool, especially because we're losing the mercenaries mode, which gave you kind of that sense of like other survivors and, and life in the world. You know, if they're, since that's completely gone, ho hopefully they integrate that a little bit more into the campaign through like, not necessarily like side, like sub stories or anything crazy like that, but just more, you get to see more interaction with those characters throughout cutscenes or however they want to tell that. But yeah, fuck. It looks awesome. I'm super excited. Plays really good. Nemesis is garbage. Uh, I hope the game doesn't get delayed. I want my physical copy and uh, more later. <laughs> it's good. Thumbs up. I approve this message. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye bye. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when new videos are available. Also, share this video with anyone you think might like it. All these things factor into growing our channel and getting more awesome people in our community.
Speaking of community, you can join our Discord by using the link in the description below to hang out with us and other fans like you. Lastly, please consider supporting us by contributing to our Patreon. Even as little as a dollar truly adds up in helping us pay for our overhead, growing our audience, and increasing production value and quality. You can go to the address on the screen right now, or click the link in the description below to participate and get rewards like merchandise, exclusive videos, and sneak peeks. You can also find more of The Ward and get our merchandise on our website at the-ward.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.